and new tonight. The Brooklyn man who stabbed a police officer in the neck and shot his partner back in June of 2020 has been sentenced today. Now we have body cam footage that police previously released right here. You can see pretty dramatic and graphic and News 12's Brittany Cadet. She has been in court all day. She has more details for us. Brittany, what is the latest on this? Well, it's been a very long day in the courtrooms, and as a result, Zenon Samovich has been sentenced to 30 years in federal prison due to him committing an act of terrorism back in June of 2020. And after he serves this time, he will be deported back to his birthplace of Bosnia. This nightmare unfolded just before midnight on June 3rd of 2020 right here in our borough, while the city still had curfew during the early stages of the pandemic. The NYPD tells us officers Yayan France, Jean-Pierre and Randy Ramnarine were standing on the corner of Flatbush and Church Avenue when Samovich walked up to Jean-Pierre from behind and stabbed him in the neck. Jean-Pierre then shot at Samovich, which then led to them both wrestling for control of the gun. Samovich managed to wrestle it away and shot at Ramnarine, hitting him in the hand while also opening fire at officers trying to help, wounding a third cop. Thankfully, all three officers that were wounded are alive today and were in that courtroom as Samovich faced his sentencing. And the officers that were wounded decided not to say any closing remarks. However, Samovich's attorney did state that it was not Samovich's intention to kill as many cops as possible. However, it was an act of suicide due to his alleged undiagnosed anxiety and depression. That's the latest here from downtown Brooklyn. I'm Brittany Cadet, News 12.